put the E to the C to the L and then throw a Blackpool on the end and that's what you have right here. It's ECL2. We're in Blackpool. And right now, Royalty Gaming versus Power Gaming and what is sure to be a showdown of all showdowns here on the main stage. We just saw uh, Imperial get uh, left four down by uh, a wicked team there. Coming up right now, oh there is no interview actually. We're, we've changed things up to get things rolling. I'm going to throw you to my, uh, my colleagues, uh, Miles Ross, and of course, first, Mr. Peter Robinson. Hello, Mike. Very, very excited to be here. We are firstly, we've got Royalty versus Power Gaming, and we're going to run through the teams. First up, we're going to look at the Royalty Boys, um, and they are. we're going to introduce the players any second now. We're going to have a look at them, and our thoughts on the match, Miles? My thoughts on the match? I am looking to see maybe Power Victory. Power Victory. I know you're a royalty fan. You're a Big real royalty, royalty fan. fan. I just love them. I think they're nice guys. They get on well with me. They actually tell me about the game, which is always pleasant. You know, because I do. You hold hands. You hold hands. Also, I've touched Dale. I've touched him. Touched Dale. But none nice. of the others. None of the others have let me well, touch him. He's I've got quite close to Frag, but he's top eight FFA player. So I'm going to go with maybe, yeah, Frag. I think he outweighs Dale in the in the Halo places. Yeah, but Frag's the man. Um, so anyway, we have got Royalty West Power Gaming. The Royalty Boys, we're going to introduce them as soon as possible and get this match underway as soon as we can. Generally, I think this match is going to be tight. Royalty 5th seed after pool play, Power 4th seed after pool play. Mm. And uh, yeah, very, very tight. I think Power haven't played the way they'd like to have done in pool play. Very, it looked pretty sloppy yesterday, I'm going to say. They Some, beat LLL. Definitely somewhat this sloppy. Morning, but generally not as good as I think definitely somewhat the power definitely been somewhat sloppy they've kind of felt that because it's pool play they don't have to try as much they feel that the seed doesn't matter so they haven't been putting everything into the pool play unlike some of the teams like LLL who really sweat their guts out to get the result they wanted to and we should be getting ready to rock and roll with the players soon yeah and we're just gonna introduce the players now yeah we're gonna introduce players first up we're gonna have Royalty Gaming going from right to left there's the boys that's Ramirez, the new guy onto this lineup from Royalty. 16 years old, quite young compared to the rest of them. Spammy Rami. Spammy Rami. Next up is Matty K, Matthew Karros. Very, very happy. Just missed out on his uh, top 8 FA. Uh, next up we have Dale, Durrett Dale, Durrett Fowl, the man himself. He's a look, tongue out, not looking his best. <laughs> and, we have, and we have Fragby, top 8 FA player, great guy. Probably, I've been told he's probably the best player on Royalty. And uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing him. And you're going to introduce the power guys, Miles? And the power guys, let's not mess this one up because I always mess this one up. Buck 57 coming in there, the, uh, the slightly later of the Buck Twins. And next to him, of course, the self-proclaimed best DMR in Europe, MVP, team captain of power. Next to MVP is Buck 20, the other twin, completing the duo. Extremely strong player there. And finally, on the end, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Loco Hot Coco, a.k.a. Loco the Legend, a.k.a. Top 3 MLG Gears of War player, a.k.a. Aston from JFK.